Psalm 30 says, I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you healed me. O Lord, you brought my soul up from the grave. You have kept me alive and I, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing praise to the Lord, you saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Now in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by your favor, you have made my mountain stand strong. You hid your face and I was troubled. But I cried out to you, O Lord, and to the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy on me. Lord, be my helper. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. I read a devotional this week and uh, it really touched me and encouraged me. Um, I'd like to read it this morning. Day one, numerous passages in the Bible connect the number 40 to periods of trial, testing, or hardship. During this reading plan, we're going to zero in on a number that gets a lot less attention, the number that comes after 40. We're going to see how the number 41 represents a beacon of hope for postponed dreams and promised lands amid the troubles of everyday life. It's almost as if 41 is shouting, I got next. After Noah built the ark, it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Day 41 came and the rain stopped. After Moses committed murder, he hid in the desert for 40 years. Year 41 came and God gave Moses a second chance, commissioning him to rescue Israel from slavery in Egypt. After the exodus, the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. Year 41 came and a new generation entered the promised land. For 40 days, Goliath bullied Israel, just begging for someone to come fight him. Day 41 came and David stepped up and slew the giant. For 40 days, Jonah delivered a message of doom and gloom to the city of Nineveh that God was going to destroy them because of their wickedness. Day 41 came, and God changed his mind and instead extended mercy because of the Ninevites had repented. After being baptized, Jesus fasted in the desert for 40 days and was tempted by the devil. But day 41 came, and the devil fled, angels showed up, and Jesus launched his monumental ministry. During the 40 days after his resurrection, Jesus appeared to his disciples on several occasions, proving to them that he was alive and breathing new life into them as he explained the kingdom of God and commissioned them to build it. On day 41, after promising to send the Holy Spirit in his place, he ascended into heaven, leaving the disciples to carry out his plan for launching the church. A church that, by the way, is still prevailing against the gates of hell. Whether you're stuck in the storms of life, in serious need of a second chance, stranded in the wilderness of unexpected circumstances or unfulfilled expectations, facing what seems to be an unbeatable giant, or bearing up against unspeakable temptation, the pattern is clear. The number 41 represents the dawn of a new day. The hope and promise that if you don't quit, the rain will stop, the giant will fall, and you will enter your promised land. Amen. Let's sing that hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. When peace like a river
morning. And thank you, God, for your faithfulness and hope, Lord, through the trials and circumstances of this life that we have to go through, Lord. You are our hope. You are a living hope, God. And we put our trust in you, Lord. We turn our eyes and we look towards you this morning, Lord. And we give you all the honor and the glory that is due your name. Lord, we long to see your face, God. We long for that day when every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that you are Lord. Thank you so much for this church, God. Thank you, Lord, for the body of Christ. Lord, that we can gather together and worship your name. I pray that you would bless the service, Lord, and that you will be glorified in everything that we do and say. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. 